My name is Joe Ward. I run Core Media Solutions here in Phoenix, Arizona. I take care of all of the underground construction here for the company. This is the I-40 and I-17 interchange on I-40. The project is parallel on I-40 all the way from Flagstaff to the California border. This particular bore is going under I-40 in the north-south directions under the east and westbound lanes of I-40. Solid rock from start to finish. It was 400 foot. The engineers, the people who engineered the job, was really in question whether the job could be done only because of the terrain challenges and, and the setup locations of the drills. But we're able to find a place and, and get it done. So it took us about uh, eight hours to pilot out, probably about an hour, hour and a half to pull back. Yeah, I know the pullback came back really smooth and uh, a lot of that is the chemicals we use. A1 is the, I mean, the chemicals, it's, I mean, you gotta have the right tooling, right? You gotta have the right machine, which we use a, a Ditch Witch AT32. And then uh, the even bigger part of it is the scientific part. So we got the muscle with the drill and we got the, the, uh, the drill right chemicals for the, for the science. So that was our first time using SureFlow 1000. This is my first time doing a rock bore ever. Uh, with, a, with an AT rig. You know, we've, we've gone in some chunk rocks, some sand, some gravels and things like that. We've used some of the other products, but uh, never used the SureFlow 1000 and uh, did not disappoint. The, the cuttings, they were carried right out of the hole. We ran about six gallons per minute, uh, which is about the lowest setting on the, uh, the, the machine would do. And uh, had flow the whole time and worked out great. We were awarded this project, uh, teamed up with Sunk Construction and CS Construction here locally in the Phoenix area. Uh, so we're doing all the drilling, they're doing the plowing and the uh, rock saw work. It's the uh, largest ADOC project of its kind, it's 220 miles, it goes from uh, just east of Flagstaff all the way to the California border and uh, we're doing all the drilling in that 220 miles. So to date this is probably our landmark project, uh, one we're really going to hang our hat on and we, we had a successful win this earlier in the week. Taking on a project like this with uh, liquidated damages and and uh, getting bonded for the project and things like that. It's, it's scary for me, uh, though I've been in this industry for 20 years, uh, taking on a project of this kind was something I've never done before, meaning solid rock drilling. Uh, scary, you know, I'm dragging my bosses into something that, uh, you know, uncharted territory for them. You know, they've been in business for 20 years, but not on the construction side. And uh, for me to ask them to put up personal collateral, their homes and whatnot, whatever the bonding company probably asked them for, I can only imagine. But uh, so to drag them into this and have them trust me the way that they do, um, we knocked out the worst bore of the job. So great win for the entire project. So Dakota is my ditch witch salesman here in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, Dakota's a salesman, but Dakota comes from the field. Uh, he works with his hands and his back. He's, he's the real deal. He just, he knows what he's doing. He's not just a guy pushing paper to sell a machine to put some money in his pocket. This, this whole project was really dependent on him to come out and educate us show us how to run the drill, show us how to the, the tooling works, show us how to rebuild the tooling, show us how to uh, pretty much do everything, literally. Uh, yeah, we've all mixed mud before, but none of us have ever drilled rock with an AT machine. And it's uh, 20 years, it was like my first day on Monday. I've never, I've never done what we did on Monday and Tuesday. And it was literally, uh, thanks to Dakota, it was, uh, he made it seem easy, he made it seem effortless. And um, I can't thank him enough. We knew that we can't be cheap when it comes to the rock drilling, and so I really started doing some research on the chemicals. And when we really started breaking it down, you've got a bag that treats 500 gallons, and then you've got a jug of, of the drill right chemicals that, that treats 5,000 gallons. And then when you do the math, it just comes out a lot better where your money ahead on the drill right chemicals. When you're gonna treat as many gallons of water as I am throughout this project, you're talking hundreds of thousands of gallons. That's, that's a big cost savings at probably 40%. So you really gotta do the math, but at the same time, a lot of people would say that cheaper is not always better, but in this circumstance, cheaper is better.